The craziest thing is I remember going to Chelsea. I was very young. I was just going there to, to train with the youth Chelsea team. And I remember being at the training ground, which I then, a few weeks ago, go back and see, and I see the same thing. I'm like, wow, that's, that's crazy how full circle it came. Good afternoon, welcome along to Premier League Live. I'm Rebecca Lowe. History was made today with the news that Christian Pulisic has become the most expensive American soccer player of all time, signing for Chelsea for $73 million. It's an exciting moment for, for Christian Pulisic. He, he deserves it. The rising star of American soccer. As a former U.S. men's national team player, of course, as well, what's your, what was your reaction to the Pulisic news? The first one is it's great for American soccer. Um, you know, when you look at the long list of players from the U.S. that have had success in Europe or currently having success in Europe, when you calculate the club, the size of the fee, the size of the expectations, the age of the player. This is the bigger, biggest player signing in American soccer history. And so you immediately start to think about the moment for this young player who's incredibly talented. Stuff that the company's taken to London and like, we like basically sold everything this past week that we didn't. Especially if we know this is the it's just a huge honor for a huge club like Chelsea to want a player like myself. I was thrilled, and I, right at the moment, I'm almost like, yeah, let's do it, you know, right away. Christian, this is Steve. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm Ian from Sky Sports. Christian, nice to see you. Hi, yeah. You good? You're getting things sorted, somewhere to live, getting things set up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Around. Finding a new place to live, you know, you know, as well as getting to know a new city, it's uh, it's been great. I think uh, it's exactly what I wanted. And then from here, it's going to take around 35 minutes, 40 minutes to go into into the training ground. But a lot of them sort of share share lift. So, you know, Monday one of them drives, Tuesday the other one drives. And so. Like, you know, I'm going into a really big club and I gotta earn my respects, you know, just like I would with any team. So I gotta go in and I gotta prove myself. You know, the first few days of training, I was kept out of most of it because I had just come off break and they'd already been training, so they were playing games and stuff and I wasn't able to, you know, participate. So after a few days, uh, I got into like one of the scrimmages and I thought, I, you know, I did really well. I had some assists and, and I did well. And I felt like that was when I was, you know, a little bit relieved and I, I could say, all right, now they know, you know, that I can play a little bit. So that's where I felt like, you know, I earned my, the most respect in the team. I mean, the pressure's always there. Obviously, it steps up now, you know, a lot more people will be watching me. You know, now that I'm in England at a big club like Chelsea, you know, like, it goes up for sure, but in the end, it's the way I see it, it's the same game, you know, it's, it's what I'm good at. It's, you know, what I've been doing for, you know, my professional career so far, and uh, I truly feel that I'm ready for it, so now it's, uh, yeah, it's just putting the pressure aside and going out and, you know, enjoying it, you know, just uh, having fun with it and, and do the best I can, and that's all I can do. a lot and and say what is it you know how are you guys going to rebuild with this with this young group 